Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how I went from this to this. And the troubles I had along the way and how I overcame them. So pretty much you see here I've actually got three setups. And I'll go through each one individually and tell you about it. So first off, we'll start with the one at the top where the tablet is. This is the first one I started with. I have my Nexus up here. I also went and got a USB DAC and a preamp. Now I have the Nexus 7 up here, a Y cable, a USB DAC and a preamp and then the wiring harness for my car. We have the audio coming out of the USB end of the tablet and into the DAC which then amplified it with the preamp and put it into the car's speakers using left and right channels and then since it's a wire cable we could also charge it. Now the problems I had with this were that the preamp I bought was complete shit. It, um, it was just all grainy and it was terrible. And I couldn't just use it directly coming from the DAC as the sound was not high enough. It was just way too quiet. So I pretty much ditched that idea and went back to the drawing board. After some research, I found this DAC here, which also functions as a preamp. So again, I used the Y cable. Plug that into there. USB charger into that end to charge it. The output goes into here and then into the car. And this worked great for about three months I used it for. It um, completely fixed the problem with the shitty audio quality. The only downside to this was if I was driving down the highway with my windows down, the sound was just probably a little too quiet with it um, all maxed out. And the other problem which I think in the end was a problem with the wire cable itself is that it would keep pausing the music and I think that's because the wire cable was a bit faulty and it would be disconnecting and reconnecting almost instantly telling the tablet to automatically pause itself. If you have a headset attached to your phone or whatever and you unplug it while you're playing music it will automatically pause itself. That's pretty much what this was doing except the USB cable was coming unplugged. That was sort of annoying so it just got worse and worse as the cable degraded over time. Apart from that it was, it was great. So then that brings us down to our third setup down here, which I can't actually show you the unit itself as it's already in the car, and I'll show you that later on. So what I've got here is just a normal head deck. This one has Bluetooth, um, USB, AUX, and SD card reader as well. But we're really only interested in the Bluetooth and AUX. So what we have now is a charging cable going directly into the tablet, and then the AUX cable coming out the headphone slot. Uh, yeah and into the AUX of there. The other option is going through Bluetooth. So that way this fixes the problem with it being too quiet because I can turn it all the way up so it's almost blowing the speakers in my car, which is a bit extreme, but I can get the volume is what I'm saying when I'm driving down the motorway. It also has Bluetooth, so if I didn't want to use the AUX cable, I could um, connect it through Bluetooth and use no wires. And also the tablet holds a good charge now as it's not needing to draw more power to power any of these DACs. So what you'll need for this last setup is the tablet, obviously, the bezel, which you can find on eBay or around the place for probably about 20, 30 bucks. And if you're going with my setup, you're going to need just a standard head deck with AUX at the minimum, and you should be sorted. You can get these cheap. I got mine for about 50 USD, so that's reasonably cheap. The tablet was about 80, 80 USD, 60 USD, depending on where you can find it. And yeah, the bezel told you that. So first off, I'll show you how I've attached this to the bezel. Um, just ignore this cable here. I was just trying something and I still haven't got around finishing it. So since this was uh, one I found on eBay, it didn't actually have any way to attach the tablet to it since it's just supposed to sit over the top of just a seven inch um, head deck unit. So what I ended up doing, 
can see that. Here's the template. What I ended up doing is cutting some pieces of metal out, filling it with bog, putting some nuts in the end there, and then putting the metal on top. So that made it so I could then screw these straps in over the top, which could hold the tablet in place. I also got some foam. It would preferably look better if it was black, but I could only had um, brown on me at the time. And this just keeps the sharp edges of the plastic away from, from scratching the tablet screen. It sits in there real nicely. And then, then you put it in there as such. I've also got some kind of seasoned foam underneath here, just this pattern along there. It's quite easy, you can do it all by hand. Just screw it in. And it's stuck in there, it's not going anywhere. I can push on it, it's not moving, it's gonna stay here. So that's how I did my bezel. So now we'll move on to the car and I'll show you how it's set up in there. Okay guys, so here we are in my car and I'm gonna show you how I have wired this up. So first off, you're gonna need your wiring loom. I picked this up from the local auto shop. It just attaches to my wiring loom and then defaults out to the third party head deck units. So what I've done is I've just attached some wires to that which extend it down here. Let's see if I can bring the camera down. So maybe kind of hard to see, I'm not sure how the lighting is, but that is where it is down there and the wires go up along there, through here and out there. So then I have also attached two terminals here, which attach to the cigarette lighter attachment. So I'll plug that in now. Then this I put in a USB car charger. Then this is where you get your charging cable for your tablet. Plug that into the two amp slot. You can tuck those wires away back there. And then pretty simply, this attaches directly the tablet to charge it, and that's the charging setup. Then we have the AUX cable, so it's pretty self-explanatory. It will plug directly in up here. Now you might want to get a 90 degree one, I didn't have one on me so I have to use this. It's a bit hard to get in with this um, bezel, but it once it's in it stays in. It doesn't actually get in the way when you put it back together when I'll show you soon. So now what you want to do is simply put all the wires behind the tablet. And you shouldn't have to worry because there's so much room here because normally when you have your head deck unit in there it goes all the way back and then you've got this which is just so slim so you've got heaps of room for all your wires and wiring harnesses and so on. So you put that there, push that up there and it's in. And as you can see, we've also got our AUX cable, the other end going into here, as well as I can also set it up through Bluetooth since the tablet supports Bluetooth. So I'll now turn it on and show you it working. Cause that because that song copyrighted and I don't want to get a spark. Okay. So, as you could hear, it was working. So you can go and pretty much do anything. You've got Google Maps, so you can use this as a GPS navigation unit. You have also got any other Android app you want in it. So I've got Talk, so I can hook it up to my Bluetooth OBD reader. I can see my speed, RPM, throttle position, all of that through this app. Got ways so you can, it's pretty much like an app that lets you look out for cops. You've got YouTube, SoundCloud, Pandora, Spotify, everything you could get on any other Android tablet or phone you can get on here, which is probably one of the big reasons I did this. So, yeah, with this ROM, I was also able to get play, pause, uh, skip, and back buttons here, so I can control that directly on the bottom bar without needing to be in the app. 
as well as I've got sound up and down. The advantage to having this head deck unit down the bottom here is that I can connect through Bluetooth to my phone and have hands free. As you can see at the top here, I have got a microphone so I can have hands free calling. As well as the other advantage is that I can get FM radio. Now I know you can get um, USB devices that give it to you on here, but they aren't the highest quality and the audio is sort of a bit touchy. So it's better just to get a head deck unit in my opinion. Now with the ROM I'm using, I didn't need the USB support with charging. So in the end for doing the power on and power off, I ended up using Tasker. Now I'll show you how I set up these. So for power on, when the unit gets power, I do it, set the display time out to 23 hours so it always stays on. Turn the Wi-Fi on, turn the Bluetooth on, turn the GPS on, launch Spotify, and hit the play button on it. So that means when I turn the car on, all my connectivity will turn on and the music will start playing. Now for turning the car off, I've set it so it turns the time out on the screen to 7 seconds, the Wi-Fi turns off, the Bluetooth turns off, the GPS turns off, and it pauses the music, and then what it does is it plays a power down video and locks the screen. So I'll show you that now. And as you can see, the tablet powered off and the car powered off and had a shutdown video. And then when I power the car back on, starts up, turns Wi-Fi on, turns Bluetooth on, and starts playing the music that I've got it muted at the moment, so I won't come through. So as you can see, this is my setup. I've got volume control either on the tablet screen or down here on my secondary stereo. So as you can see, here's it all set up with the trim on the car, with the tablet in its bezel, and sitting in its spot. I have got my secondary stereo set up down here, which I'm not sure if you can see playing through the AUX cord at the moment. I've got it turned right down low. So as you can see, I've got it connected to my phone's hotspot and I'm playing a YouTube video right now. Thanks for watching guys, please subscribe. If you have any comments or questions you want to ask, don't be scared to ask them and I'll try to get to everyone's comments. Thanks for watching and see you later.